Hey everyone and welcome back to our UT Source channel. In this video, we're gonna make this multi vibrator circuit. So let me first start with the theory part here. What is a multi vibrator? Well, a multi vibrator is an electronic circuit used to implement a variety of simple two state devices such as relaxation oscillators, timers and flip flop. It consists of two amplifying devices, transistors, vacuum tubes or other devices, cross coupled by resistors and capacitors. Our setup is based around this schematic. Multi vibrator circuits are categorized in three types. The A stable multi vibrator, the mono stable multi vibrator and the bi stable multi vibrator. We're gonna make the bi stable multi vibrator. So these are the things that you're gonna need for this build. BC547 transistors. I'm using the SMD version here, but you can use the THT or any other similar NPN transistors. But wait, where we can buy this SMD version of BC547 from? Well, you can buy this from utsource.net. Link is in video description. Green LEDs, 10 kilo ohm resistance, 470 UF capacitor, silver copper wire, jumper wires, copper perf board, and a power source, which is in my case a lithium cell. Making bi stable vibrator with a microcontroller is pretty easy. We first need to add LEDs on the microcontroller's digital pin and upload the right code to it. And the result will be this easy to make multi vibrator circuit. But we don't have to use a microcontroller in such a puny task. Instead, we're gonna use transistors for doing the same trick. And for that, I prepared a breadboard version of this schematic with help of THT components. And after checking if this setup works, I prepared the SMD version, which was this. And here's our multi vibrator circuit setup. For powering this setup, we need at least 3.7 volt, but it can sustain more voltage. So we can supply it 5 volt or voltage greater than 5 volt. So our circuit is working on par with the microcontroller setup. The great part about this custom circuit is its cost if compared with the microcontroller setup. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If yes, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out our UT Source channel for DIY electronic videos and check out our UT Source website for buying electronic stuff. And I'll be back with another video.